lipomas lipomas are these small fatty lumps which is found underneath the skin you know most of the time they are not painful they don't cause any problems but then as a student in pathology you need to know about this hi everyone myself dr vijay shankar welcome to this short tutorial from pathology med simple at ilo pathology the topic which i am going to discuss is lipoma okay now what is lipoma lipoma is the most common benign soft tissue tumor right so this is a slowly growing mesenchymal tumor composed of mature adipocytes with uniform nuclei note that these are mesenchymal tumors and these are benign tumors most common in adults in fourth to fifth decades of life both sexes are equally affected and it's often associated with obesity and very rare in children so they are usually subcutaneous in location as i told you and they are often found in neck shoulder back trunk and proximal extremities rarely they can be found in deeper tissues as well so what is the pathogenesis of lipoma most often you know in about 50 to 60% of lipomas there is evidence of cytogenic abnormalities now what is the abnormality which which is found it is the rearrangement in the chromosome number 12 this is the most common cytogenic abnormality found in lipomas now let us see what is this term lipomatosis lipomatosis is a term used when there are multifocal lipomas multiple you know soft tissue swellings that is lipomas involving a limb then you call it as lipomas now based on location lipomas can also be you know categorized as intramuscular where the lipomas are found within the muscle it can be in the synovial cavity synovial space when it is referred to as synovial lipomatosis it's also called as lipoma arborescens it could be intermuscular between the muscle planes it could be peri or para osteal or it could be intradumal intradural okay lipomas can also be found in various visceral organs now how do they appear grossly these are often very well circumscribed you know we are talking about subcutaneous lipoma right so these are soft well circumscribed lobulated tumor they have a very thin capsule see demonstration of capsule is very important because the presence of capsule is the one which differentiates it from your normal subcutaneous fat now rarely they can be found in deeper tissues as i had already mentioned right so this is the gross appearance you can make out the this is yellowish uh, mass where it is easily i mean you can easily make out the presence of capsule the capsule is very thin that you have to identify to call it as a tumor okay so on cut surface it's soft pale yellow homogeneous appearance okay it's soft well circumscribed lobulated tumor and homogeneous appearance microscopically what you find is all mature adipocytes which have a small eccentrically placed compressed nuclei can you make out this so you are you're finding these adipocytes these are mature adipocytes they have an eccentrically placed small nuclei and all the cells have empty looking appearance right so how what does that mean that means the fat which is present in these adipocytes are dissolved during tissue processing so that's why what you see is only the empty spaces these are adipocytes mature adipocytes and some of these adipocytes you don't find nuclei at all what does that mean that means these sections are from a particular plane right so when the section passes through that particular plane where you have nuclei you can identify them otherwise all you see is just a membrane bound empty space so that's how lipomas looks like on histological examination again composed of mature adipocytes and if you find adipocytes with nuclei these nuclei will be present eccentrically they are short small and compressed nuclei okay in between you can find these delicate fibrovascular septa as well you have to demonstrate the presence of thin capsule now there are variants of lipoma depending upon the component present within the given lipoma what are those variants they can be chondroid lipoma angio lipoma fibro lipoma milo lipoma myo lipoma ossifying lipoma mixo lipoma spindle cell and pleomorphic lipoma now let us understand these one by one what is this chondroid lipoma this is a tumor with mature fat that is a normal i mean common thing which you find in all lipomas right so with mature fat and lipoblast in a chondroid background or a cartilaginous background okay so this is referred to as a chondroid lipoma 
Similarly, angiolipoma is composed of mature fat. That's normal, right? With numerous small blood vessels. So, presence of these numerous small blood vessels. Some of these blood vessels do contain fibrin thrombi. So, that's how uh, angiolipoma looks like. Fibrolipoma is a lipoma with focal increase in fibrous tissue. You find those spindle-shaped cells. So, focal increase in fibrous tissue, you call it as fibrolipoma. Myelolipoma is a tumor composed of mature fat and bone marrow elements. Remember, bone marrow elements with intermingled mature fat, that is myelolipoma. They are often found in adrenal glands. Myolipoma, it's a tumor composed of mature fat and smooth muscle tissue. Myo means muscle. We call it, it's usually a smooth muscle. They're usually found in inguinal regions and abdominal wall. Now, what is ossifying lipoma? You find a you know, metaplastic bone within a lipoma. So, you find this bony tissue within the lipoma, then you call it as ossifying lipoma. Mixolipoma is a lipoma with presence of prominent mixoid areas. These bluish areas, you know, they are all mixoid areas. So, that's mixolipoma. Spindle cell lipoma is a mature fat with numerous spindle shaped cells and you find lots of collagen in between. So, that's spindle cell lipoma. Pleomorphic lipoma, though it says pleomorphic, it doesn't mean that we are looking into malignancy, okay? So, this is a lipoma wherein you, wherein you find these cells which have nuclei arranged in the form of, you know, flower, floret-like cells. So, this is a floret-like cell. Of course, in the background, you find spindle-shaped cells, you find these ropey collagen, okay? And these spindle-shaped cells. I mean, the floret cells are mixed in a mature fat. So, this is how a pleomorphic lipoma looks like. So, as a student in pathology, just note that there will be different types of lipoma, histological variants of lipoma. And these variants are named based on what component you have within a given lipomatous tumor. Okay, if it is cartilage, it is chondrite, if it is blood vessel, it is angio and so on. So, these are various variants of lipoma. Now, how do you treat these lipomas? Lipomas are very simple to treat, you know, the, the local excision is the treatment of choice. So, that completes the topic lipoma. If you have liked this video, hit the like button, do comment, don't forget to subscribe and do share. Thank you.